Situated in the year 2014, uh, BML Munjal University offers an MBA program that we are going to cover in this particular episode of Know Your Campus. We are here in Haryana. It's very, very cold and chilly. And in today's episode, we are going to give you a perspective on what you might have to know before you want to make a choice of getting into this particular institute. So stay tuned with me while I explore this campus with you guys. All right, so as mentioned, I have uh, two second year students, Tanushri and uh, Mridul with me. Hi guys, welcome to KYC. Thank you so much. Tell our audience, where are you from? Why did you decide to come uh, at this place in Haryana? Well, I am from Calcutta and uh, I have been uh, studying all my life in Calcutta only before coming here. I have also worked in Calcutta. So while I uh, was giving my cat and I came to this college and I just found it very interesting because it has a lot of experiential learning. So that's why I decided to come here and here I am today and studying operations and supply chain management. I, I am from Bikaner, Rajasthan. When I was preparing for my cat, then I got to know about this college via a website only. And then I thought to visit it and when I visited, I was quite intrigued by the campus and the life the students were having. And then I also thought to connect with some people from LinkedIn and I found it that this is a pretty good deal. It indeed is a pleasant sight once you walk in there, there are a line of trees that you can see and yes. you know, if you look around, there are a lot of trees as well here. Uh, what was the you know first impression like when you first came in here? So I came directly on the orientation day which was last uh, in 2022. So when I entered and our seniors were so helpful and they were just standing there greeting our parents and giving us the direction that you are supposed to go there and you're supposed to do this and that. And then I took a round of this campus with my mother and we both we're just so happy with this lush green campus. It's so so much happening here. It's there is some cafeteria, there are library, are so much equipment and everything. It's very nice. The campus is very lovely. Okay, talking about infrastructure, let's talk about where we are uh, right now. Uh, it's part of uh, a university that uh, you guys have here. Uh, in terms of the location of this particular place, where exactly are we on Google Maps? Currently, we are at Kapriwas, Haryana. It is uh, 30 minutes away from Gurgaon, uh, the cyber city. And uh, this is our campus uh, where we are standing currently in front of the admin building. This is our admin building and there are also classrooms in the basements as well as in the ground floor. Let's, let's talk about uh, what exactly this this particular uh, university entails in terms of a campus life that you guys have. What exactly happens in a day for a student like you when you wake up? What is the kind of routine that you follow? Here? So this is basically a residential program that you are supposed to be here only. Other than that, the day starts with the classes on only. Some days we have 8.30 classes, some days we have 2.30 and yeah. the main issue is the 8.30 class. Other than that, the typical day is like usual only. You get up, you go to the mess, then you went to the classes and plus we have a gym also. Right, so uh, with respect to the kind of infrastructure that you guys are mentioning, what all are uh, you know provided to students uh, like you guys? So we are very equipped with the labs also. For the for example, science students are having chemistry labs, the other type of technology labs. And for us, there are two, three main areas. For example, we have an IQAC office where the qualities are certain. The next is the incubation center where the startups are incubated. Other than that, we also have a center of excellence that it is basically a sort of a place where all the heroes, achievements and everything is displayed there. Two or three are the main focuses here. Other than that, we have the gym, we have library, we have also the playground, we have tennis court, basketball court. Every B-School student's life is incomplete without clubs and committees and I'm uh, assuming that you guys also have those here. What is that scene like here? We have more than 25 clubs in our campus with uh, more than three societies and uh, one committee and we are also having student body since we have a lot of departments here btech uh, bba bcom economics mba so and phd students also so we have different committees but we all stay like a family and uh, you know what happens here along with studies and being part of these clubs and committees is the kind of active nightlife that you have uh, i'm assuming that you guys don't wander around this particular place a lot and spend more of the time inside the campus so what exactly is the nightlife like since we have a lot of clubs committees societies so there are multiple events going on even today also we are having some cricket tournament at night so something going on in sports something going on in entertainment some competitions case study competitions and some fun competitions ramp work everything is happening in during the evening 
great uh, guys uh, we will talk more about the academic life that is part of your uh, journey here we are going to talk more about the kind of uh, companies that come in here and the placements that probably people are also looking forward to but uh, you know the day is bright i was just mentioning in my introduction that how cold this is but the sun has finally uh, shown mercy to us so we will definitely roam around the campus and figure out few more places yeah let's go Well, guys, uh, this was a big relief in this particular cold, and I'm assuming that this is a relief for you guys as well. Uh, and and I can see a cafe here. There are other cafes around this place also. Which is this place? Where are we standing right now? So this is our academic block. You can see there are classes happening, and uh, right over opposite there is one cafe. It's called Chefy. and it generally opens in the evening it is for all our chit chat and everything before i go to the cafe let's do some chit chat here and since yeah. we are standing right outside the academic building tell me a little bit about the academic structure of this place how many classes are there uh, how many students in general study in these classrooms okay uh, so all of our classrooms are structured and well equipped with uh, digital uh, things and we have a smart monitor there in our current batch the batch strength is 274 and in our juniors uh, who are currently uh, in first year they are having 298 students in their batch and no classes has more than 60 students in one section what are the core courses that you are uh, offering here in this uh, particular institute is it just the pgdm course that is offered or there are other specific uh, courses that are also so uh, in uh, school of management we have a bba bcom mba full time and mba executive mba and in btech there are different branches as it is everywhere mechanical civil it and others apart from that there is school of economics and school of liberal arts and uh, again every school has some re research scholars with them and what is the fee structure like uh, when we are talking about your specific course the pgdm course that oh, offer yeah. currently the uh, course fee is 13.5 lakhs and uh, 4 lakhs are added for the hostel uh, fees so that includes mess laundry and other services inside the campus uh, you guys come in from very different places um, why don't you tell me you know what is the kind of diversity here where all people come in here for to study you know it's not just the school of management there are other schools as well so people come in from different places is what i assume so what is the overall diversity like for this classroom so currently i think we are very well diversified we are having people from 22 states and the batch followed following us is having people from 25 states so diversity is always an add on it it gives you a new perspective and it actually helps us understand other people in their context even better uh tell me a little bit about what happens in this classroom so uh, we are standing right now uh, as we mentioned right outside the academic building uh who teaches here what is the faculty like what is the teaching pedagogy like like while you were taking this coffee you were telling me about uh, you know the faculty probably is the usp of this particular right. place right. why would you say that Correct. So our faculties are the best thing that BMU offers. I'd rather say they are uh, very well uh, equipped with industry knowledge and industry experience. We have uh, faculties who are currently uh, implementing their plans in industry. So we learn from the experts. And and if I have to, you know, uh, get in here, what is the eligibility criteria like? Is there a very hard and fast rule that you know you have to have this uh, as your academic background or any of that sort? Yes. So basically, it is not that easy. However, it seems so. You must have 60% throughout uh, in your academic career. Apart from that, you must have a good percentile or score, uh, whichever exam you are appearing in. And the interviews are very rigid. It's not a very uh, conversation types of interviews. Mm -hmm. It's more or less a case discussion as well as your personal interview. We will talk more about uh, the kind of uh, placements that you guys yeah. get. The kind of notable alumni that you have in the last 9 10 years that this place has been operational but before that there is still light there is uh, still opportunity for us to roam around and look at this particular campus a little bit so let's do that and then carry on sure let's go Okay, uh, Tanushree Mridul, uh, we are sitting right now at the Atal Incubation Center, where a lot of uh, incubation probably happens. What exactly does 
uh, this place remind you of the two years that you have spent? Well, so this incubation is uh, specifically designed for the students who are interested to build their own venture, that is startup. So we have so many successful startups from this incubation and we have professors who are in charge of this uh, incubation center and who help us understanding how to do this. In our two years, we have come here so many times and we have spent a lot of time here. But we did our assignments here rather, rather than doing our startups. However, there are students in our batch also who are working on their own startups in this incubation center. Uh, you know, talking about uh, you know a particular institute, a uh, lot of the institutes DNA is built around the USP that that particular institute has. So in this uh, context, in this context of VML Munjal University, what probably would be the USP of this place? So basically, they are associated closely associated and monitored by Hero only. So the prime focus is that only and the, and Hero is also having multiple amounts of companies for example Hero Motocorp, Hero Fincorp and there are Munjal Showers or something like that. So there are basically 20 or 25 companies. So all of the learnings imparted from throughout the businesses are somewhat cultivated to the curriculum as well. For example we have regular case studies. So there were some specific case studies that were associated to Hero only. So that is a very big add-on and other than that, the curriculum is designed as such that what the industry requires. And we're talking about uh, nine uh, years of alumni members, uh, the connect of which you get as students as well. How does that help? You know, do you have a very active alumni uh, connect here? You are part of the placement committee, probably hold a lot of these alumni sessions as well yourself. Uh, how does that help for a B school student? And although the time is not very much the span is not pretty high but you have substantial number i assume so what is that like uh, talking about mb alumni uh, from 2016 to 18 there were the students who are currently the stars i'd rather say so we are in connect uh, as well as for the placement point of view apart from that there is an alumni sale here and uh, that is laid by uh, the professionals and they are in touch with them constantly and we even call them there is a series called alumni speaks so they share their experience, how they are doing and what we need to do to get in their places. They also help in one very important way. For example, I had an interview for European Cup. So there must be someone who was placed last year only. So then we have a special session with them that what was asked and what is it that you are doing currently and what is it that could help me give an edge. For example, the pool placements happens. Many colleges are sitting together. So that gives you an edge, obviously. That person who is already working in the company is telling you what are you supposed to say and what is it that is required from you. I want to touch down on the placement side of things now on in this particular video. Let's talk about the summer placement and final placement of this particular institute. You know, I was talking to your uh, placement head. He said that uh, consulting, automobiles and uh, BFSI is a sector where majority of your students get placed. And probably I'm seeing a consulting and automobile sector students sitting right now. Uh, what is an overall placement overview for this particular institute that I have to ask. So for summer internship, internships, we had very renowned names, for example, HP, Trident, Amul, Dabur, and also Avalon Consulting. The highest stipend was 60,000 that was offered by Trident, following, followed by Hewlett Packard that was 45,000. So uh, for the last senior batch, uh, the placements was quite successful from our end. Uh, majority of the students, around 97% were placed and rest, they were not interested in placements. The highest uh, package was offered by Silicon Labs. It was 25.9 CTC. The average was uh, 9.3 CTC and median was 9.1 CTC. Yeah. All the very best uh, to both of you because you guys are going to start your own uh, careers from here uh, and I hope that you are happy with your CTCs and packages. I'm not going to ask you that. If you liked what you have heard today from these two guys in terms of the information about this particular institute, uh, do tell us in the comments below if you want to know more about this institute and the kind of career that you can build uh, and take a conscious call whether you want to join this institute or not. There's a link in the description, go check that out. Uh, and do share this video with whoever is interested in knowing more about BML Munjal University for their MBA. Thank you once again, guys. It's nice meeting you.